Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War. In the last one I defeated the Venetians down near and in this one I'm going to press against the Danish hopefully um, or maybe attack the Venetians, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right, so anyway, I've got this army marching towards Antwerp and I have this army and this army on their way to where uh, Antwerp. I've got that army trying to board that ship next turn. Yeah. Be gone. You are not my lead. I could crush them, but they're really not doing any harm. They're not annoying me. So, I think I should end this turn. Because there's a. Uh, oh, wait, I could get him to spy. No point getting him to spy on them because. Let's see. We've got that Danish army there. So I'm gonna have him go there. And maybe scout towards more the Danish homelands. Just to see what I can expect to encounter. So we know that Captain Harold is coming with a, a bombard and crossbow militia. And Hamburg is lightly defended. I think I might have taken out the main the mainstay of the Danish forces. With discretion, sire. Well, they've got I all them in Aarhus. I shall continue to and then they've got that army there. But really, my army outweighs their army by a vast amount. You can move, but you can't. You will have to fight and I'm not going to bother attacking them. Right, so I'm gonna end this turn. So I will, uh, I will join back next time. I'm just gonna quickly have them sail there just to scout up here. Because, oh, I wonder why you can sail there, but not there. I think they might have got that the wrong way around because this is saying I can sail on land. Now, I know Britannia rules the waves and all that, but. Uh, I don't think Britannia rules the land, or at least the Britannia Navy. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut back once uh, once this has done its business. So I'll see you on the other side. Right, we're back. Hmm. What does that entail, Philip Millard? Where is he? I have no idea where this uh, milord is. Where is he? Let's see. Uh, you're heading towards Bruges, so keep on. Um, I hope it's not one of these. Last turn. Venice is mustering quite a large army around here, but they decided to march a pretty small army right up into the jaws of the beast. So I think I'm going to deal with them appropriately. I can't merge them. Can't merge any of them. Right. He's wisely backed off. But I'm going to get him again. I don't have the other force backing us up this time, but I'm just going to crush him. Because if he's going to march up there, if I didn't attack him, he could stand as a base for them to reinforce and merge armies with him and make him grow stronger. Uh, so I had no choice but to attack him, basically. Right, let's start deployment. I like this terrain. There's a nice slope there, which I can perch my army on top of. However, with me being the larger army, I think I'm going to have to be... Uh, a bit proactive in the attack. So let's see. I've got archers there. Got lots of. Let's see. If I plunk me knights on a flank up there and get them to go into diamond for me, diamond arrowhead wedge, even <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Uh, and I'll just have a large group of 
large. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do. Right, longbows. Where are they? They're up on that hill. They're probably going to make me charge at them. So, chances are they have archers. So I'm going to tell you to get loose. I'm just curious to see what happens, if anything. It's a pity that the weather has to be so shit, because uh, vision is heavily impaired, and I can't see what's happening for the fog. All I know is that they are somewhere up there. So, marching up there is probably going to be death. What I'll do, if I move them horse forward, so I can see them and I'll be able to make a better more informed decision once I've scouted their position still can't see shit like but uh, if I get them into the forest then they should be protected from any um, ranged attack Right. So it looks like from the lay of the land, if I was to go around, maybe split my army into two. Right, so I can see some crossbowmen. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll split my army into two. Right, so I can see them there, their disposition. So if I leave them there, if I bring up the other cavalry, I still haven't done the air. Who's going to be group one? Let's see. <coughs> I'll need to split these into two forces now. So use. Let's see. All of you use your group two. All the others use our group. Deselect them. Group three. Then use our just long bows. Right, so group two, I'm going to get used to march out there. Group three, I'm going to get used to march out here. Right, so maybe if I speed up time, I'll be able to see what happens. Get group one and get them to go here. Right, so I'll be able to also see if they're doing anything sneaky. Right, so if I speed up time a wee bit. So if I get group 2 to march under there, and if I get group 3 to march to about there, <coughs> and then I'll be able to pincer them. So me in opening gambit, I'll, mar I'll uh, charge my cavalry through and try and route their crossbowmen, leaving only these, because they'll be crossbowmen, crossbowmen, swords, Night. That's generally how the AI lays out their armies. Right, so it looks like they're in position there. Slow that down. Right, so opening gambit. Right, I'll tell two to get clustered, three to get clustered. Group one. Let's see. So I'm going to have them. I really should have sent some over that side so I could charge into one lot of archers from one side and the other lot of archers from the other side. But what I'll do is I'll just charge one years in and get yous to go there. Get yous to go there. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Abort, abort, abort. I'll need them to get into position first. Or at least more into position. Otherwise, I'm extending me cavalry. Right, do it now. Right, well, I can hear arrows being fired. So they're looking that way. So hopefully, they don't see. Right, three, I'm going to get used to charge at them. 
two. I'm going to get used to charge there. So you can see they're a bit fucked off. They're more they're dismounted field knights. I'm going to withdraw my knights. They've done, they've done their bit. They've impacted on them crossbowmen. Try and not run into your own men. Run around them. Right, so I've managed to make them run out. This is just a sight to behold. I'm gonna take two lots to attack them. Right, knights. I'm gonna have you engage them. Two, I'm gonna have you run here. Oh, we eaters are attacking them, that's why. That's right, you wanna run, bitch. The defeat is almost a certainty. So you're just going to ride into the back of your own men and charge through them. Only half the enemy force remains. <coughs> He's down. Is he a general or just a captain? He's a captain. So they're pretty much all routed. They are all routed. Right, it looks like they might make it to the border, so I'll just speed up time. Nah. They've made it across, so now just to see. There is someone routing over here by me, General. Them. Just that lone one person. This is a clear oh, thanks, Archers. Fucking killed power. someone, you bastards. So that went pretty well. If they didn't run, they would have been absolutely wiped. With the numbers that I had, I wouldn't have expected anything less. Not in need of. Of units, so we'll pull them back to there. They say you do not attack me out of fear. Yeah, good luck with that. Right. So I've got this captain lurking over now. So I'll have you move to Antwerp. I would love to know where that uh, person who's apparently went rebel on his is they sunk one ship and had two sunk right, well that means you can wait you still can't I don't get how ships work right so you can see Aarhus doesn't have many people in. So get him to move there and get you to move over here. So Hamburg has a bit larger force in it. What I am going to do. Who do you want dead? You have a target in mind, my king. Let's see. Just name the target. So only got a 46% chance of assassinating him. Name thy so if I can kill Triggy. Nope. Today is a particularly good day to die. So he's a fine officer. Uh, recruitment report. I am the most advanced faction. So 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. I can live with that. Right, so let's see, can I merge any of them units? No. What I can do though is take some units from there and drop them off in there. And then. What do you mean I can't move? Fuck. 
Ähm. Wait. So, if I'm not mistaken, the Danish are now confined to Hamburg and Aarhus. I'm fairly certain there's not something lurking over here, but I might be mistaken. I probably am. So, uh, I should really wipe the Scottish off the face of this uh, this game, but they're not a concern. So, what could I possibly do to where uh, well, you've already moved? Paris, you're. I don't know why that's so high because the force defending it's not that big. Because generally the flag means how well defended it is. Like, see, that's got a really low number because that's all the only thing that defends it. So, Bruges will be ripe for the picking, basically. Who are you? Troiden of Kostalin. So if he's wanting to uh, mount an attack on Antwerp, then he's probably not uh, not too clever. But if he's clever in certain events, Antwerp and goes straight for Bruges, that could pose a bit of a problem. So I'll have you actually go into Bruges. Right, so I'm gonna have you. Yes, well, you're gonna have to wait there for the next turn when they can finally get off. Uh, who's are heading towards Dublin? I really want to know where the fuck this uh, this traitorous army is. Uh, what are you? You are a heretic. Um, see, your rebel army brigand, brigand, brigand. You are not my liege. Uh, wait. If it's not immediately obvious, it's probably not a concern. What I do need to do though is get a general leading both of these armies because I've found, oh wait I've not found, I've never experienced it myself but I've read that armies led by captains are more likely to uh, revolt against you than armies led by generals. So use two are Let's see. Dislikes Scots. Dislikes the French. Doesn't like many people, it seems. Right, I'm gonna have you two come down here. Yes. You just gonna cut your teeth on the time. Venetians, so to speak. Right. Uh, just some famous battles around Toulouse. I'm surprised it's not more around Angers, to be honest. I wonder how it determines what a, a famous battle is. In the year 1344. Right, um, is that a Venetian? Yes, that is a Venetian thing. So really, they could just circumvent and go straight to Bern. That's why Bern's got sort of a large force. Of building an armor. Dijon's got a large, uh, a famous battle nearby as well. What is Dion building? Irrigation, a cathedral. Let's see, what does it need? Or what do I need? Ooh, you can, uh, Mets can. Pump out a lot of men and some pretty good, pretty well trained men as well. So your upkeeps 150, your upkeeps 225. So armored swordsmen are the better choice out of armored swordsmen or feudal knights or dismounted English knights. 
what's the difference between them they've got a larger attack lower defense there's their attacks 13 defense 21 their attack 21 defense 13 slightly cheaper to recruit yeah armored swordsman are the better choice out of the out of the three I would say uh, what I do need, what I've noticed, is my armies don't have many archers, so I need to start pumping out archers because archers are the mainstay of the British army at this time. Because it's about this time that the Battle of Agincourt and Crecy were fought, and they relied heavily on archers. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope to see you in the next one. I'm just zooming in because there's a red thing there and I don't know what it is. There. Right there. Yes, there. Good. Don't know what all that was about, but yeah, whatever. Right. So I hope to see you in the next episode. Until next time, farewell.